Today, we're going to play with the rear curtain flash. So when you're shooting with the flash, there's essentially three different ways. There's rear curtain flash, front curtain flash, and then just a regular camera flash where you uh, push the shutter, the curtain on your sensor opens, the flash immediately starts, the flash ends, and then the curtain stops. So that's just a normal picture that anybody could take by just popping a flash onto a camera, or even just using the pop-up flash uh, that's built into your camera if your, if your uh, camera has one. Now also there's rear curtain and front curtain. Rear curtain, which is what we're going to really play with today, I typically use most whenever I'm out in the field shooting. So what happens is you hit the shutter button, the curtain on your sensor opens up, and, the, and you begin taking the picture with the ambient light. Then for however long you decide to set your shutter at, and I'm going to play with that today, it could be you know, a hundredth of a second, but normally you want to go down to like a tenth of a second or a half second or you know, even a full second or two seconds or three seconds or whatever you want to shoot with, then at the end of that, whatever the determined shutter speed is that you're using, at the end of that, your shutter will then pop really quick to freeze the motion, and then the uh, flash will obviously go off, and then the curtain will stop. The opposite of that, as you can imagine, would be front curtain flash. That is where the exact opposite happens. You hit your shutter button, the shutter curtain on your sensor opens up, your flash goes off immediately, so it freezes the action at the very beginning of it. The flash will then stop, and then your curtain will stay open on your shutter speed for however long, a second, two seconds, three seconds, and then collect the ambient light. It'll stop, and it'll create two really essentially opposite looks. Okay, so now let's get into some of the tools that I'll be playing with today. I'm um, just using a D750, a, a Nikon SB700, but you can really use any camera, any lens will typically work with these. And then whatever tools and whatever toys essentially that you want to play with. I have a couple um, loom cubes here that I don't know if I'll be using. I probably will just to kind of, um, as the ambient light, I like to shut the curtains and shut off all the other lights around you so you can really have more control over what you're playing with. Then I have a second little flashlight here that has a couple modes on it. I might play with the red flashing one in the background. I don't know if we'll see. What else do we have here? I have a couple of pocket wizards in case I decide to take the flash off camera and shoot some off camera. I don't know if I'll be working with that, but always nice to have. And then essentially the toys of what we're going to be playing with in terms of the, the subject that is going to be... Um, really moving to get the rear curtain flash to uh, to work, to, to, to really optimize it. You know, if you use rear curtain flash and everything stays still the whole time, it doesn't really do anything. The whole point of it is to show motion. So I have a couple kind of little toy cars here that I got at uh, Home Goods, one of the best stores there is. A football I might play with a little bit, and a little, um, little turtle that kind of walks. Don't know how well this is going to work, but hey, that's the point of it. Let's just have some fun. Okay, so now we'll really give you an idea of what's happening here. So you turn the, the flash on, put it on the rear curtain flash. Let's see here. Okay, rear curtain flash. I'll have it at about a half a second. Make sure that's up. Yep. All right, now I'm not going to move anything. I'm just going to take a picture on the rear curtain flash. And as you can see, it essentially just looks like a normal picture because. Although there was, you know, the whole shutter is about a half a second, so, you know, close to a half a second of, uh, of no movement, that means that there's nothing really for it to pick up. And then there was just the very end is where the flash hit. So all it really caught was the flash. Now, in theory, if I was to move this, it should pick up the movement from pre-flash. Okay, so it didn't. That might be because, and let's test this out, let's take a picture without any flash on. My guess is it's going to be super, super dark. Let's see here. Yeah, it's, it's essentially completely black. So this is what the sensor is picking up before the flash hit. So as you can see, it's so dark here. That's why we need to bring in some of these loom cubes here to play with. It's so dark, there's nothing for the sensor to really pick up. So, let's move this stuff over, move this car over, let's turn on one of these loom cubes here, get some side action going on here, maybe a little bit of something from the front, it's a little bright, 
lower this. There we go. It's a little bit of ambient light. Let's do the same over here. Let's lower it down a little bit. So one, let's leave it on one and let's just see if that's enough. So again, let's test it out without any flash at all. So there's no flash. Okay, so there's starting to get enough. Let's pick it up just a little bit more. Two, two. And you can change this also using your ISO or your F-stop or shutter speed, or whatever. But I like to be able to play around with lights more. So let's just do this for a little bit. So let's do it one more time. It should be a lot more viewable. Okay, so there's a lot more light there. And you can see how blurry it is because I'm shooting at a half a second. So it will be blurry. Um, it's handheld. So what you do is then whenever you turn the rear curtain flash on, I'm not going to move anything. Let's see what happens here. There we go. It's lit up pretty nicely. Okay, so now let's try this again with some movement to it and let's see if we can see some blur. There we go. See that? So what's essentially happening there is the streaks that you see are the ambient light brought in by the loom cubes and then where it's more sharp and like in the number nine and really throughout all the car where it's sharp at, that's from the rear curtain flash. So it looks like the car is actually moving forward where it is, obviously, it actually is, it is moving forward, but it also looks like it's moving forward because of light. Now if I was to do front curtain flash, it would do the exact opposite of that. So, let's see here. So let's do this. Let's slow the shutter speed down a little bit more. Let's go down to one second. Move the lighting. Now because I moved the shutter speed down to a second from a half second, the ambient light naturally is going to double as well. So these lights won't have to be quite as bright. I'm going to go ahead and leave them on the same brightness to see what we're working with here. So I pre-focus. And go. Ooh, okay, do this again. This one I don't think really wants to, let's see here. Yeah, it doesn't really roll very well. So let's move out to, let's move out to this car here. Let's see if this one goes again. Yeah, it rolls a little bit better. So let's do this. Refocus. There we go, that's kind of cool. You can see the hot spot from this light up here, so let's move that back a little bit, pull it up a little bit. One on the button closest isn't as bad. Now the whole key to this is timing, being able to, as you can see from that picture, the car is pretty much out of the frame, or at least two thirds of the way out of the frame by the time the flash comes on. So let's try to get the whole car more in frame. Slow down. Still kind of cool though. Let's try this again. Let's trial and error. Just play around. See what you can get. That was kind of cool. Okay. Let's slow this back down to about a half a second. Starting to get a little bit more of what I'm looking for. Let's change the angle on this a little bit. Let's move this one over here so we're pretty much all lit from one side here. Let's see what this does. It's kind of cool. Let's go even. Let's go even a little bit quicker. Let's go to. There we go. 
Let's get a little bit better. See that? Okay. That's kind of cool. Do that again. Wasn't a very good roll. <laughs> Got an idea there. All right, one more time then. Let's play something else here. There we go. That's probably the best one yet. Cool right there. All right, now let's try the turtle. This might not, I'm not really sure how well this is going to work, but it's worth a try, right? So let's hold this here, pre focus. Whoa, right. let's do it again. Let's do a slower one. So let's go back from three down to, let's go a full second on this bad boy. Wind her back up. Hold it in place. Get ready. Let's pre focus. Ready? And one, two, three. There we go. It's kind of cool. It's not bad at all. Let's do that again. Let's even go. Let's uh, let's knock these down a little bit. So they're kind of bright. So let's put them both. Actually, you know what? Let's just get rid of one completely. Let's get rid of one. And let's lower this one down to the lowest setting it'll go. So just give it a little bit of ambient light because. We're at, what are we at now, one second? Yeah, we're at a full second. So the longer the shutter speed is open, the more this comes into play um, because it's obviously brighter over a second compared to a half second. So let's go ahead and wind this up again. We're at a full second. I haven't changed my, sh let's see, I changed my shutter. I haven't changed my f-stop, still at f8. My um, ISO still at low one. So let's do this again. Ready? There we go. That's kind of cool. There we go. And you can also, what you can do is you can take your camera that you're shooting with, if you'd like, and put that on a tripod so that it stays completely still. And then you're essentially just getting your completely still um, camera. You can do a wireless remote or something. And then it'll move throughout the camera when it's completely still. That's still, that's the best way that I've found to do it. So let's do this one more time. Let's lower the shutter even lower. Let's go to 1.6 seconds, 1.6. Leaving the light where it's at, leaving ISO and shutter, and um, the f-stop. Do this again, let's back it up a little bit. Pre-focus, ready? One, two, three. There we go. That's kind of cool. And that's the home. There you go. There you go. So that's what you get playing around with some rear curtain focus. I don't think this is going to work nearly as well, but let's try to spin a football. Let's see here. Let's bump up the light a little bit there. Get another one going from this side. I don't know how well this is going to work, but it's worth a try. So, let's take one here. I'm going to leave everything at where it's at. So, ISO low 1, f-stop at 8, and then 1.6. So, 1.6 one, one, 1. second shutter. And let's just spin it. That's what you get with that. It's kind of cool. Not bad. It'd be cool if we get the Colt logo to show, though. Let's do this one more time. Let's try. There we go. So let's do, let's, uh, let's pop this up a little faster. So let's do, let's go to a half a second. So it'll probably be too bright with these lights here. But let's practice. Let's see what we're at here. Oh, 
wonder where God's kind of cool stuff is. There we go. That's kind of cool. If I can get the logo in one. See if I can do. I don't know if I can spin this with. I can't with my right hand. Let's see if I can with my left hand. I'm right handed, obviously. <laughs> so let's try this. Let's pre focus. I would normally shoot. Let's try to spin it with my left hand. I'm going to me here. This probably ain't going to go well. Whoa! As you can see, I'm right handed, <laughs> if you didn't believe me before. Alright, so let's go. Let's try to shoot left-handed. This is gonna be fun. Pretty focus. Get this right. There we go. And there goes the football. Okay. So there you go. At least you have somewhat of an idea. Now rear curtain for rear curtain flash. Super fun to play with. You can use whatever lights you have around the house. You don't have to have loom cubes. You don't even have to have you know toys that move that kind of stuff. Get a ball. Get a football. Get a little car, Hot Wheels or something. Put it on rear curtain for uh, rear curtain flash. Maybe some flashlight action from the side to light something up. Play around. Have some fun. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned a little something. Uh, be sure to subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a question or a comment below or uh, message me. Thanks for watching.